All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, in just over a day from now, the AGL LR Majin Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening will be dropping on the global side of the game. So, in today's video, I want to give you guys a breakdown of his EZA details as well as his Extreme Z battle event to get you guys as uh, prepared as possible. Now, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Gamer Subs. If you guys haven't picked up a waifu shaker for yourself, like this one, or tried one of their delicious new supplement flavors, like the lychee, which is what I'm having right now, or the new strawberry, then definitely head down to the link in my description and uh, check out all their new stuff. They just released a bunch of new flavors, uh, some waifu shakers, uh, shirts, sweaters, sleeves, and all that good stuff. So if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, that's GamerSubs. Thank you so much for sponsoring the video. And uh, with that said, let's jump right into it. So before we talk about the Majin Majita's details actually, let's pop over to his Extreme Z Battle event, which is dropping on... Oh, they actually didn't update the global release date. Well, it should be January 23rd, I believe, 2022. And his weakness, uh, just like every other LR Extreme Z battle, is the Legendary Power Link. So units with the Legendary Power Link, so basically LRs, will be able to do increased damage to him. And then units in the Super Saiyan 2 category will do more damage and also receive less damage from... Uh, the enemy, Majin Majita. And of course, there's no increased drop rate category. So from there, let's scroll down a little bit. And uh, as you can see, characters that are SSR or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage, pretty standard. And there are 10 levels in total for this event if you want to get all of the Extreme Z Awakening medals. So from levels 1 to 10, you're getting 3 Dragon Stones per level, and you're also getting the uh, Majin Majita Extreme Z Awakening medals, you're getting a bunch of uh, AGL potential orbs and also some AGL Grand Kai's along the way. And uh, once it's all said and done, after you clear all 10 levels, you'll be getting, uh, let's see, 30 Dragon Stones, 45 of the Baja Vegeta EZA medals, 5 AGL Grand Kai's, and also enough AGL orbs to rainbow an AGL unit. And as far as the missions go, there's only one mission and you get uh, three extra stones for clearing stage seven. Now, taking a quick look at the Super Saiyan 2 category, which is once again, the effective category for this event. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of LRs, so you're not gonna be able to get the uh, legendary power link too consistently. Got the, you know, AGL uh, LR Gohan, we got LR Kellen Khalifa, of course, Majin Vegeta. And then for the tech units, we have tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, for Int, we have the Int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and then for Fizz, we have the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. So, if you want to run a full Super Saiyan 2 team, you're not going to be able to run a full LR team, but you could do something like uh, the AGL Gohan, LR Kellen Galifla, and then Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and uh, maybe Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. If you have this guy, if you have the uh, you know LR Tech Gohan, he's probably going to be carrying you through all the levels, so you're pretty set. Um, if you don't have him, then it might be a little bit tougher. I think it's still doable, but uh, obviously you still want to include as many tech units on your team as you can since the Majin Vegeta is uh, AGL, right? So for the Super Saiyan 2 category, you got the tech Kalen Khalifla, which is good. We have uh, the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, who is the best Super Saiyan 2 category leader in the game. Ashley, is he the only Super Saiyan 2 leader in the game? He might be. So let's uh, jump over to the Tech Vegeta. Let me just click on Super Saiyan 2. And wow. Okay, so <laughs> I did not realize this guy was the only Super Saiyan 2 leader. In the entire game so yeah if you have the super saiyan 2 vegeta definitely use him as your leader if you don't have him you could still do a uh, pure saiyans team for example with the fizz 
um, transforming Vegeta, although that's not as good of an option, obviously. But going back to the tech units, um, this Kaba is not bad with the Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, Majin Vegeta could potentially be an option too, but he's not really great for single target damage. So uh, yeah, the Super Saiyan 2 category, while decent, could be better. So team building might be a little bit tough for uh, some of you guys out there who don't have as many options. Of course, you could also just use your best mono tech team. And uh, if you have a decent amount of LRs that are tech, then that could actually do quite well. So uh, yeah, that is the uh, Majin Vegeta Extreme Z battle event. Now let's pop over to the Majin Vegeta himself and talk about his uh, EZA details. Now before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is AGL types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, 12 key super attack, causes mega colossal damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy, and then his 18 key super causes colossal damage to all enemies with a rare chance to stun them. So he's kind of the inverse, I guess, of the STR LR Broly in the sense that his 18 key attacks all, but his 12 key is single target. Whereas for Broly, it's the other way around, right? His uh, 12 key is attack all, and then his 18 key is uh, single target. I would have preferred for Majin Vegeta to be the same as Broly, in the sense that his 12 key super was the attack all, and then 18 key super was single target, because the 12 key is much easier to get, and you want him to consistently get the attack all off for events like um, World Tournament, and of course, Super Battle Road, but uh, yeah, he is the opposite, so in that sense, he's not as good. And then his uh, passive is attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, and that was it. So now with the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill is AGL types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, 12k super attack raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage with a medium chance of uh, stunning the enemy, and then his 18k super raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage to all enemies with a medium chance of stunning them. His new passive is defense plus 150%, attack plus 180% when performing a super attack, e plus 2, and reduces damage received by 20% when there's an ally whose name includes Bulma on the team. e plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% when there is an ally whose name includes Trunks Kid on the team. And then key plus 2 and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% when the name of an ally who is attacking in the same turn or an enemy includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded. And finally, key plus 12 and performs a critical hit when HP is 30% or less once only. Alright, so those are the details for the Majin Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, initially, I was actually quite high on this unit, quite high on this Extreme Z Awakening, uh, as in, I thought it was very, very good. Now, I think it's good, but I feel like it could have been a lot better. I really feel like it could have been a lot better. Uh, the defense is definitely a much needed addition right but it's not really enough i gotta say it's not really enough i've seen a lot of gameplay with a rainbow Majin vegeta and uh, when it comes to the harder events in the game he still doesn't really hold up that well it seems like he's getting less than 200,000 defense um which is you know okay for like dokkan events and easier events, but when it comes to like Extreme Super Battle Road, when it comes to the uh, Legendary Vegeta event, Legendary Goku event, especially the GT one, he's definitely a unit that you would want to hide. Um, he's definitely a unit that can be a bit of a liability still on defense uh, at rainbow status, but if he's at 55%, then you're really going to be in some trouble if he takes a super, right? Um, offensively, he hits very hard so i can't really say anything about that i like his offense good damage that's fine but the rest of his passive 
Uh, there are just a few too many conditions for my liking, like E plus 2 and 20% damage reduction is great, but you need a unit with Bulma on your team. And realistically, the only Bulma unit you can run on like uh, Vegeta's family, for example, would be one of the Rage, Vegeta, and Bulmas, right? And the free-to-play one, you're definitely not going to be using. And the summonable one is very outdated at this point, so you could use him on Vegeta's family, but you don't really want to until he gets an Extreme Z Awakening, right? So for now, there isn't really a viable Bulma option to run on any team that he would exist on. And uh, for Kid Trunks, you got some more options, but it's still not like a lot out there. And then you're getting the E plus two and an additional 20% crit chance for having a Goku on your team, or if you're facing a Goku, like in the legendary Goku event. So that last condition is not bad, because uh, if you're running like Pure Saiyans or a number of other teams, then having a Goku on the team, or rather in the same turn, is uh, not hard to meet. Although, I wish it was just Goku on the team as opposed to Goku attacking in the same rotation, right? But uh, yeah, like I said, still a good unit. Don't take this as me saying he's a bad Extreme Z Awakening by any means. I've seen a lot of hate for this EZA actually. I've seen some people say just straight up he sucks and I don't agree with that. I think just having this like additional defense boost and also more attack when he was already a really really good damage dealer is uh, a solid upgrade and uh, I guess you can just see these additional boosts as you know like bonuses <laughs> but if they had made these easier to get then this would have been such a better Extreme Z Awakening especially this Bulma condition I mean this 20% damage reduction helps him so much right because as I said his defense even with the 150% boost is not crazy impressive so getting the 20% damage reduction really helps him be a more consistent tank. But you just can't really have a Bulma on your team that much until they maybe release like another Bulma uh, in Vegeta's family that is actually viable. Um, for now, yeah, there isn't a great option to fulfill that. And then uh, Kid Trunks, as I said, you got some more options, but not too many. I could actually see them releasing just the straight up Bulma and Kid Trunks unit at some point in the future that would really help this Majin Vegeta EZA but for now that unit does not exist so uh, it's just pure speculation um so yeah there you go guys that is the Majin Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening uh, I think he is definitely worse than LR Broly um possibly better than Gohan or maybe around the same level as Gohan. I mean, I don't think Int Gohan's that bad either. You know, Int Gohan gets a lot of hate. I don't think he's that bad. So yeah, I would either put Majin Vegeta around the same level as Gohan or maybe, maybe slightly better because of the attack all, because of the ability to, uh, you know, stun the entire enemy field in uh, World Tournament or Super Battle Road. So uh, there you go. That is the easy eight. Let me know in the comments down below. What you guys feel about it and real quick before we go let's take a look at his linking partners so Majin Vegeta's best linking partners in the game right now are either the transformed tech Majin Vegeta who he shares five links with or the prime battle uh, int LR Super Saiyan Vegeta now the prime battle Vegeta is not a great choice right now just because he's quite outdated but once he gets an extreme Z awakening then He'll probably be the number one option for the uh, AGL Majin Vegeta. Now, if you want to activate his 20% crit chance by having a Goku on the same rotation, then the best option at the moment might be the Tech Super Saiyan 3 LR Goku. But once again, this guy is pretty outdated in my opinion, so... Um, you might not want to use him, but they do share four links and uh, also give each other five key So as units that both have uh, key issues, they could make a pretty good combo and uh, For the other four link unit, you could go with the int Godku 
who also gives uh, four links as well. So uh, there you have it, guys. That's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, give me your opinions about the Majin Vegeta. Are you on the side that thinks he's quite good, like me? Or do you think he is just straight up trash and one of the worst LR EZAs we've ever seen, like some other people out there? Regardless of how you feel, he's coming soon to Global in just over a day once again. So uh, yeah, that's the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.